Now I'm like, oh my god, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Hey besties, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing to you guys a moving vlog. Today is Saturday, February 19th, I think. Hey Google, what day is it? It's Saturday, February 19th, 2022. She knows her dates. And I am moving on Tuesday, February 22nd, and I haven't started packing at all. I love that for me. I just thought you guys might enjoy a moving vlog where I show you me packing my books, me giving you an empty house tour of my new place, and you know, everything that just goes into moving we'll just uh, have in this vlog. So I think I'll start with the empty house tour which I filmed the other day, so I'll insert that now here, and then after that we'll get into packing. Okay, I'm not gonna show you my entire front of my new house because you could literally stalk me and kill me. Um, but here we have a welcome mat with a football in it. I will definitely get, be getting rid of that. And then we have a cute little door with a window. Um, there's my boyfriend in there. And then it came with this little kitty. And he's kind of ugly, but kind of cute. And I think me and my boyfriend will probably decorate him for different holidays. Like imagine him with a little Santa hat or like a witch hat for Halloween. And now let's go into the house. Here we have a wild Billy. And then in here we have my office and there's little Billy again. I'm going to put a wall of bookshelves here and my couch in front of it. I have like a green velvet sofa. It's gonna be really cute. I think I'm gonna paint these walls white and then I'll probably put my desk here. Continuing in the downstairs, we have the living room um, where we're gonna put the TV there and then we're gonna get a sectional couch and put it here. Billy just wants to be in this entire house tour. Okay, and then coming in from the living room is this open area that I think is meant to be like the dining room, but I'm actually going to make this my pole area. If for those of you who don't know, I do pole dancing and I have like a tension pole that I can have at my house to practice. And so I'll be putting it in here. I'll probably take down this light fixture and then make this like my workout area. And then right off of that room, we have the kitchen and we have a wild Aaron right there. Very cute, handsome boyfriend. Off the kitchen, we have this area that's like kind of a bonus family room area, but we're actually gonna make this the dining room because it's so connected to the kitchen, I think it makes sense. And Aaron has a really nice large dining table, so I think that'll look really good in here. And then there is a gas fireplace, and we're gonna make this shelving area into like a bar, which I think will be really cute. And now, let's go upstairs. This shot is not going to be steady at all while I go up the stairs, sorry about that. There are three bedrooms up here. On the left, we have the master bedroom. It's got a lot of carpet. Something about me is that I hate carpet, but the master and my office downstairs are gonna have carpet, which is fine, it's fine. Then we have a walk-in closet, which I'm really excited about. I've never had a walk-in closet. Um, yeah, I don't know. The shelves are like weirdly far apart from each other. I don't really know why they're doing that, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. There's a lot of storage in this house. Also, why is that happening? I don't know. This is also one of those master bedrooms where there is a sink area, like not attached to the toilet. And then we have the bathroom with some brownish, greenish, pukish colored tile. Love that for us. Okay, so straight across from the master bedroom, we have the room that's going to be the guest room. So we will put a bed in here for guests because you know our parents might want to come visit or friends from out of town. And then Billy just wants to show off all the bathrooms, I guess. But here is the bathroom that's between the guest room and um, the other room. There's three bathrooms in this house, which is nice. Um, this shower is very interesting, very odd. Um, I've never seen anything like it. It's very short. I guess we could wash Billy in there. That would be convenient. Going from here, we have the room that's going to be Aaron's office. This is pretty nice, it has a lot of natural light. I would like this for my office, but um, Aaron has more stuff than me and we're going to make it so that during the day, his cat stays up here with him and Billy has to stay um, downstairs because she has a bad habit of chasing the cat. And so we're trying to keep them apart for a while and try to you know work on their relationship. So Aaron and his cat Samus will stay up here in his office and in the guest room and just like the upstairs area in general during the day. The last thing I wanna show is the backyard because it's so cute. I love it so much, especially for Billy. She's just gonna have such a good time in this yard. So there is this like screened in deck area, but then there's also a deck that's not screened in. So probably what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a grill out here and then in here, we're going to do like patio furniture and stuff. And this will be such a cute place to read when it's like warm but not too hot. Cause we, I do live in Atlanta. So during the summer it'll be like 95 degrees. But 
there is a fan out here too, which is nice. So yeah, and the yard is really big and it's fenced and I'm just really excited for my dog to have a cute little yard. That brings us to the end of this house tour. I'm really excited to be living here. I feel really grateful that um, Aaron and I could find a place like this and that we have so much space. I think it's really important to us to have a lot of space because we have so many hobbies and we also are home like 99% of the time. We both work from home full time. And I just really wanted to have a dedicated office and filming area and then also just to be able to have space for my pole as well and all my bullet journaling supplies. Just like literally any hobby I have, I feel like I have space for here. And I'm really, really grateful for that. And I also love that we're gonna have a guest room because I know when my mom comes to visit, I wanna have a bed for her. And Aaron's parents live in Chattanooga, so they live close by, so they'll probably visit us too. And we actually also are walking distance to Aaron's friend, Tom. He literally is like two minutes away walking and that is really great because we can go hang out with him and his wife as well as have our dogs play together. His dog Lavender is super cute and she and Billy really get along. So yeah, I'm just really excited to be living here. I um, hope you guys like it so far. Um, I'll be doing some more updates as I decorate it. Um, you'll probably see that in vlogs and I'm just really excited. So mad at myself. I'm so mad at myself. There's literally so many books in here that I forgot to put in these fucking boxes. So I have packed five of those gray totes with all of my books and my bullet journaling supplies and my office stuff. And I only have three more. So I need to run to Lowe's to get some cardboard boxes. I wanna go and get those boxes that have the bar in them so that you can hang your clothes. And it is currently 3.10 p.m. And I need to film a video tonight as well as get ready to go to this like Taylor Swift dance along thing. I would not have normally planned something like that in the middle of moving, but we bought tickets to this like three months ago. And so I'm meeting up with my friends at eight o'clock for that and that's gonna be pretty much my whole night like everything that we're doing um, it's at the masquerade in downtown Atlanta so that's just gonna basically take up my whole evening because we bought tickets that it's basically just like they're gonna play a bunch of Taylor Swift songs we're all gonna dance and get drunk and stuff so I'll be doing that later tonight I might take some vlog clips of that for you just for fun in the middle of this vlog <laughs> Okay, tell me why the box with the bar to hang your clothes was $16. I was like, I am absolutely not spending that much on a box. Like, my boyfriend is going to reuse these boxes after me because he's moving in like late March, early April. But I just, I was trying to get things that could get reused in a way, you know, that, that when they get recycled, they won't feel bad about it. And so that's why I bought all those plastic totes. But I just, I had to draw the line at a $16 box. I still spent like $50 because I bought the bubble wrap and then I bought three extra large boxes two large boxes and two medium i might end up needing more boxes but i just wanted to start with less and see where we land because i still have three more of those totes so yeah i don't know i think i may be underestimating <laughs> how much stuff i have but anyway let's go home now it's about 4 10 so it's been about an hour since i last spoke to you so we're just gonna head home and get as much done as we can before i film my video and get ready to go to the taylor swift night Okay, so I lied about filming a video. I don't know why I thought I could fit that in today. It's just, it's not gonna happen. So we're gonna just have to do a reading wrap up later in February after my filming room is set up and you're just gonna get vlogs. You're just gonna get vlogs. And hopefully you like vlogs. And cause I like filming vlogs and hopefully you enjoy them. I feel like my makeup with that lipstick right now is giving Uncle Fester, um, but I'm trying to channel reputation era Taylor um, because you know, it's like this Taylor Swift dance party. I will say I got some stuff done with the packing like before I started doing my makeup, I packed, um, I'll just show you <laughs> awkwardly. I packed all my clothes in this, like my whole dresser is empty. Like this is like a huge box. I feel like you can't really tell how big this box is, but it's very big. Here's my, my leg. 
for reference. Oh, I don't feel like that's really showing you. I also packed um, this entire tote with candles. This is literally all of my candles. Like I literally own like 30 candles. I have a candle buying problem. I'm kind of a candle bitch. So all right, Austin is showing off my outfit. I think it came together now that I've got all the black and the red lip and everything. I mean, it's not like a direct like Taylor Swift Reputation Era outfit, but you know, it's a little black. It's a little edgy-ish. No, <laughs> anyway, let's go. I don't want to get a copyright strike, so here's me singing. We're too busy dancing to get off our of feet. And the new romantics, the best people in life are free. I am so hungover, like beyond hungover. So it's Monday, February 21st, and the movers are coming tomorrow. I still am not done completely with packing and everything. I'm about to take apart my bathroom. Like I already started taking down my shower curtain and I realized that I never showed my bathroom makeover like I actually did a lot in this bathroom and I actually have footage of like the, the making of I might insert that here um, but I wanted to show you the after okay so obviously this isn't going to be a perfect before and after because I am in the middle of moving and like some shit is like out and about but you can see here that I put this mirror with this decal which I thought was really cute and um then this was my shower curtain. Also, I have platinum blonde hair, so I use purple shampoo and it stained my tub. So I'm in the middle of cleaning that right now. Um, but you can kind of see my shower curtain. It was like this really cute one from Target. So just picture that. Um, but I put this peel and stick wallpaper on the wall and I put that light fixture in myself. So I need to take this all down. And then I have this like over the toilet organizer and I put these handles on from Anthropology. And I've got a bidet and a little gold trash can. It's super cute. And then I also had put this like shelving thing for extra storage. I'm actually going to leave this because I feel like the next tenants could use it. And our new place is so big and has so much storage that we don't really need it. But this is my bathroom. It's kind of cute. But I'm taking it apart. So I just wanted to show it to you guys before it was gone forever. Excuse this really weird angle. I just wanted to show you guys that I'm about to take down this light fixture. I put it up myself. She is... An electrician. Okay, we're gonna do a lighting fixture because I watched two tutorials on YouTube and I am an electrician now. What? Do these go together? Like, do they twist together? Okay, it is a new day. Am I wearing? The same outfit that you've seen two other times in this vlog. Yes, absolutely, I am. Let's ignore it. I am back at my old house because I need to, uh, like, do fix some like stuff. There's like a hole in the wall, and then my dog like ate the windowsill in this room, and so I just need to fix some things that got away from me while I was a resident here. So let's just get into it. You're gonna be impressed by my skills because I am very handy. That's what she said. <laughs> And so the first thing we're going to be doing is fixing that hole. You, I think you can see it right there. Okay, so I was told, and you literally can't see my head right now, that's fine. But I was told by YouTube that the first step is to get some spare drywall. So I'm going to cut off a square of this. I feel like I'm making a mistake um, and that I should have just bought a patch kit. But, you know, I'm really far gone in this DIY. Oh my God, if I dropped that in the wall, I would literally cry. The way that I'm a fucking idiot. I did it! I did it! I'm literally losing my mind. Okay, um, let's not talk about it. Don't ever let my landlord see this. Like, literally, I will actually sue you if you let my landlord see this. Oh, yes, 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 she is a handy woman. Okay, okay, she's back, she's confident, she's feeling good, she can do this. Okay, got it, I got it. I think this is the best I can do for now. We're gonna move on to some other stuff. I'm gonna give you a little montage of me fixing other things and then we're gonna come back to this tomorrow and reassess our lives, see how we're doing. Um, yeah.
I don't know if I've shown this in the vlog yet, um, but this is the windowsill that my dog chewed up when I first got her. There was this random day where she was home alone because this was pre-COVID and I was at work and she accidentally locked herself in the spare room and she lost her mind a little bit. And so she was really stressed out. So she chewed this windowsill and I kind of just put off fixing it, but I bought this like wood putty stuff that I have. I've used this before actually. She also chewed up my door frame and my front door. And I already fixed that because um, my landlord was like, you know, I could hide this, but I couldn't hide that. And so I've used this before and I just rewatched the tutorial that I used last time. You know, these people on YouTube are really coming in clutch. I'm learning so much. I'm a handy woman. And so we're gonna work on this so we can get our deposit back. I forgot to film myself sanding or painting this, uh, but here is the final product for the windowsill. I did my best, if you, as you can see, quite lumpy. Um, not great, but if you stand back kind of far, the camera focuses, it's fine. <laughs> I just wanted to show you what has happened with the wall that I patched. It looks amazing. You can't, like you even see where it was. I mean like, let's turn the light. Like she is a handy woman. It's amazing. We have spent the day painting. I actually forgot to film any footage of that, but the circle is gone. We painted over that. We also painted my bathroom and we painted in that room, obviously where I patched the wall. And so our last steps are, we have to put the light back in the bathroom and then we have to um, do the uh, mirror. And then we're gonna pack up a bunch of stuff and we're gonna load Aaron's car and then we're gonna leave and I'm gonna leave my keys behind and I'll never come back to this house again. One eternity later. Okay, we're officially packed up in Aaron's car and all the paint has dried, everything is ready to go. Say goodbye to my room. Say goodbye. We put that up today. We didn't film it, I'm sorry. We, got, we really lost the plot today as far as this vlog. Goodbye to this bathroom. Goodbye to the dining room. Goodbye to the kitchen. Goodbye to the living room. Goodbye to Austin as my roommate. <laughs> Goodbye house. It's been a good two and a half years. So that is all she wrote for the vlog footage of this vlog. That was a very redundant way to say that. It is March 3rd and I am editing Sarah and I realized that I never filmed an outro for this. So here I am to say that I don't really have more to this video. It was a bit chaotic. I hope you enjoyed it. I really don't know what I was doing here. And if you're wondering, no, I haven't unpacked anything in this home. I'm currently sitting in my office and I am going to work on getting this organized this weekend. I'm probably gonna paint it. I will be doing a vlog where I do like a, like a home library office kind of makeover. So look out for that in the next couple of weeks. Um, hopefully that'll be soon. I have a lot to do on that front. Although before we go, there is one more thing that I want to show you. Um, today, I was taking thumbnail footage for this video. Basically, when I do a thumbnail, I just kind of take a video of me doing different poses. So I was doing it in the front of my house, like at the front door, so it could be like a cute little like move-in moment. And I somehow locked myself out of my house. So I had to climb over my backyard fence to let myself in through the back, um, which was unlocked. So enjoy that footage. Hello, if you enjoyed this video, thank you all so much for watching. You're all beautiful. Have a nice day.